One such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this, he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas town. Your luck of this man are you quiet, gently? What? No! Burn for eating. It's you. Oh, one was alike inside, the other gives birth. So to blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice! Please, don't kill! Chum Rocket! Please! Hey! <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. 
Yeah. I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. Then some bucket is your man. Yeah. I'm your man. Yeah. Yes, I am. See, I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you did, too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go straight. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it. But I do my best work in my sanctum. Burst the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. But then I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path. Uh, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. Oh. Here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Praise me! Praise me! <laughs> yeah, see, this is where the thick brows squat and cut. Those butchers. In for the nose. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, look. There. Scabarous Scrotus is their king. Yeah. He's a big boss, but from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, himself. Yeah, but he's not here now. You see, I, I don't see the land over. I'm getting my car back. Wait, wait, please, please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car. Bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah? Hell tough, hell fast. Very faster than fear, tougher than an iguana's gonads. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. Huh? I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long. Come and see. Huh? Come, come and see your saint. Huh? A dream. Hallucination become truth. The angel made steel. <laughs> by the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the huge joint, blessed be. Uh, there she lies, the magnum opus. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> this ain't no car. It's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous. Mm. Inspired, she wills herself upon this world. Uh, look, see here, divine meets dry shaft and a symbiosis of faith, modded and made to measure. You want some of that old time religion, huh? We got a classic whammy turbo high dog, huh? Hell yeah, bulletproof and torture tested, aesthetically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive, coils and springs, and shocks and links, too. It's gonna be eight soon, there's nothing less. We will get there, yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. <laughs> yes! Come, no time like the present. Come on, Saint! We must go. to get up there is through those cave tunnels.
I need more than just a body and some wheels. Hey, man! <laughs> we need parts, scarce as they are. Help me gather all this scrap. Huh? I'll fashion a harpoon. To stand a chance, she'll need nitrous. I know how, but we'll need the parts. We just get them. It'll be easy with the hub. Yes, but first, the Scrotus war boys are out there. And if we don't weaken their numbers, why, it'll mean the end of you, me, and the magnum opus. All right, let's do it. There's something needs doing before we turn back. But, but we've got all we need. Why stall our work on the magnum opus? It's not for you to understand. I see. You have your secret reasons. <laughs> uh, I'll follow you, because I think fate favors old chum. of a ruined past. You say you seek the plains of silence, but do you not wander them right now? The remains of your life, a perpetual flight, an escape from all that is human, until one day, the plains of silence end and you begin. You have a purpose in this life, my friend, although you fear to dream it. But pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. You know nothing of me. Look behind you, a dune after dune of drifting, half-forgotten terrors. You flee them always, these past phantoms, and the madness that crawls inside. You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. Griffith can help. Help you venture down to where you daren't go yourself. And lay bare your true promise. Uh, say? Oh, Saints, come and see. Come and see, oh, Saints. Uh, yes, she's... With these hands and the blessings of the sacred Silenoi, she's come to life. My sweet angel combustion. What did I tell you? V8, not V6. You're uh, exactly. Eight is the magic number. You and me, we're gonna land a big chief. A bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 horses, holy rolling. Nobody could touch you on the black top, pay your night right. You'd be evergreen, eternal, road tripping with the gods. Hey, hey. Where is it? Gas town. Well, let's go there. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You can't just go to gas town. Oh, we need armor on my angel for that one. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, too. I'd probably need to get a couple of. Kevin just. Get in the car! Wait! Wait! This is my tabernacle! Master wrench jockey and 
skilled black fanger who's an acolyte to the angel combustion who beseeches you. Who's your driver? Does he have any knowledge of medicine? Uh, I fear not. Your pain must linger. Uh, I'm sorry, but he is a driver of otherworldly skills. Yes, you see. Why would I need a driver of otherworldly skills? Scrap my gate. Please. Please, we aim to enter the dead barons. And all my gear, it was destroyed by infidel scavengers. And we need to heal this machine. If you let us work here, why, why with his saintly real hands and my black fingers, we will deliver to you a bona fide grease pit. Ah, praise be the prophet. Let him inside. It's not much of a car. You trust that little scrap monkey? For now. Not much of a stronghold. Careful now. Don't want to insult a man in his own home. <laughs> Listen, we used to rule this stretch, and now the warlord controls all and brings only death. Warlord. Scrotus. Scabrous. Killed, I hear. Sawed him up in the head. <laughs> but his terror outlives him. A proposition, then. I weaken their grip on these lands. You give us the use of your garage and tools. Boom! If I thought you could, you'd have a deal. And then... Gas town. <laughs> oh, one peep at the jaw will change your mind. What's the jaw? the gate you gotta pass to reach gas town look for it yourself it's in dead baron's pass all right before i do do we have a deal yeah you weaken the influence of that dead warlord and we'll have a deal i have a deal with jake you build me that sniper rifle then we head out we have work to do Praise me! <laughs> oh, just you find me the parts, and I'll get cracking. Once you had everything. Purpose, love, family and friends. They ripped it all from you. You drifted far from what you were. But you still lie inside. Dormant. Waiting to rise again. No. This is what I am. Maybe not. Perhaps you fear him you carry inside. That he'll hurt you with his weakness. Enough. Very well. Let's have a peek what you've hidden within. Come out. Your plans for this car? Building it up. You gotta do it before we can get past the jaw. These black fingers are ready to dance, Saint. Oh, yeah. I know just the steps, too. It's called the Jack, the Wasteland Classic. But often our chances of survival grow tenfold. Then the harpoon? Soon, soon. <laughs> but she needs the basics first. Cars weak. Agreed. Let's return to Jeets first, huh? Then I'll show you the plans. Why must the vehicle be so important? Allies are a powerful aid. Even a dog can be a lifesaver. You focus your loyalty on a dead thing. I can drive a car. I'll cross the plains of silence in a car. People, get in my way. Do you trust the car? More than any man. We have a long way to walk. 
Let's look deeper. Huh? Here it is, Saint. My plans for the Jack. Oh, oh. She'll be perfect. Speed, power, huh? tenacious durability. Take a look, see? Take a look, see? I wish I had no use for the likes of you, but as you can see, we are fading quick here. What are you getting at? Help us establish some necessities, and you'll benefit greatly. I'll see to it personally. I'll take a look. The night promises. You recall our companion, Saint? Hmm? The Dinky D? Do you think he made it out of the inferno that was once my tabernacle? Nah. Burn to a crisp. Or food for somebody. No, no, I think he made it out, yeah? He's got a survival instinct, that little one, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he would have sought shelter inside my old buggy. The buggy and the dog would have their uses. The strengths you have inside you will be unveiled one by one. There you are. Lungs still even, heart still beating. Yet you refuse to live. Perhaps you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am. If you knew, why would you wander like this? I know where I'm going. Tell me again that you're going to the Plains of Silence. That is. That's my destination. I'm gonna cross the Plains of Silence. Oh, everything I wish Lander would hold dear. I'm just late side. It's too strange. <laughs> Forget that whimpering and the devious suckling face. Oh, dead a dozen times if you do, boy. We've come to deal. Uh, nothing else. I got gas. Oh, pitch me, little man, for I'll make a blood sport of your driver here. He's no ordinary driver. This one, no, you sent to me by the angel cooking mustard. Angel. We parlay with the water gods here. We desire to, to make way to the dead baron. My sanctum. My sanctum is, is destroyed. It's burned. Everything I have is gone. Gone. I, I have nothing left. And please, this car needs healing. She does. And, and strengthening. Yes, and if, if you let us stay here and, and rebuild, then, then I offer to you these. The hands of a Blackfinger. Yes. You'll have one chance for me. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, me. Thanks, me. Yes. Keep your hands where I can see them. Keep the deviant Blackfinger leashed. Don't need any of his perversions on my ship. I, I need welding wire to do my work. Make do for now. I'll find you welding wire. Please! Please! around with that stuff. Don't touch the merchandise.
so, killer. Little count of carburetor says you need to bust through the jaw. I'm going to Gastown. Sure you are. Now me, I know a lot about Gastown and the jaw. I trade goods in and out of there all the time. You want something? Say it. Ain't no sweet talking to you, is there? All right. I seen that harpoon device of yours. Not bad. He's a little something extra, though. Sort of a final flourish, let's say. And that's where you come in. You know, the jaw looks imposing, but it's got a weakness. The hinges. And your harpoon could be the key, but not with that weak jag tip. You need a piece tougher. Something called the talon. And you have it. I know who does. A nuisance of a noose man named Dimrim. Dimrim could use a little lesson in manners. Him and his whole convoy. So I relieve Dimrim of this talent. By force, I reckon. And you and I square? Yeah. Then we be square. Talent, huh? I hear it's possible to tear down the jaw with this. Oh, that sounds like Guckash, John. But it's possible. With a pinch of black magic. What do you know? Ha! <laughs> oh, you got balls the size of boojums. And you done us some good, granted. So hear me. You'll need to get your harpoon reinforced to get through that first gate. Easy. But your biggest hurdle are those hinges. That's why it all calls for some black magic. Explosives. The talon builds you an explosive jag tip. Blow those hinges right off. Boom. Let's do it. No. Smoke rises. Roots have descended. Oh. Cannon pissed. We must make our presence felt. No. There's no reason to risk asking here. If Pete guys should die. We'll use the gear that's in there. Your fabled fingers are nimble enough. My fingers won't fail me, Saint. But these defilers, the very same ones that destroyed my sanctum. Saint, summon into mind the horrors they brought. They will do the very same here. And they will leave no sacred tools. They'll burn what they can't carry. And they break what they cannot burn. Then let's go. Yes, yes Saint. Wheels! 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 Lay down your arms. Let's you and me parley instead. No more sticky tricks, Stanko. Today, we finish it. Call my bluff, Wheels! It finishes today. The total eradification of all! You! Everything here! Master order this? Scrotus word? Are you playing solo? Oh, it's sanctioned. Come in, I'm on high. Bring him out! <laughs> <laughs> You tell me, son. Tell you what? Tell me why I shouldn't land a slug right between your eyes. I need your help. Let me get this straight. You come here, stranger to my domain, and risk your life to help us. Yes. <sighs> Desperate and capable. I think we can do business. Huh? <laughs> 
Listen, listen, Saint. There's fresh talk of the big chief in Gastown. Can we trust it? Oh, these folks, they know engines, huh? And the V8 we seek. Let's hear it. They say to take the big chief, one must win the most dangerous race. Who do I see about this race? The Gastowners call him the Outcrier. Oh, he hangs out near the refinery underbelly. Tell me about the ones you leave dead by the road. All the lives choked out. Not my choice to kill. You seem to enjoy it. Never. You don't fear killing. Because you think you control it. You tell yourself such. Blood is not on your hands, but on theirs. Perhaps it's not the killing you enjoy, but the moments of silence the fighting brings you. <laughs> Fresh meat for the grinder! Straight from the unforgiving waste. I want to join the races. See that slate? You put your mark on it. Then I'll put you in the murder dome. <laughs> you uh, you worked the blood and gut circuit for a couple of years. Survive it, make champion. Then maybe I can start grooming you for a shot in the races. <laughs> no time, Jawbone. I need to join the races now. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can find a spot for a man of your, uh, temperament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In return, for a favor. A very dangerous, possibly suicidal favor. Eh? You see... You see these? These are lights. But they fade. And when they fade, I fade with them. But a man, a very desperate man, would have fetched me some new ones. You follow me, Wastelander? You want new bulbs? I want new ladies! Yeah, I want a lot of them! I asked them all! The gang... The gang baggers, the torpedoes, the noosemen, but no one would help me! They don't have the stones for buzzing country. Tell me exactly where they are. <laughs> you follow this, and you'll get to the Underdo. Someone cleared for fighting at the Gastown races. Well, not too many left to choose from. I'd hurry. <sighs> oh, a wanderer comes. I, Crow Dazzle, bid you welcome to the Circle of Light. To the Circle of... Wait. I see you're not here to race. I can see it in your eyes. I'm looking for a fighter to join the Gastown race. They say you know them all. A shiny crow such as I is easily flattered. I may help you after all. Give me a name. Only but one left. Tenderloin. She used to ramble large, 
Now she sucks the mask day and night. But Crow thinks a shot at the bigs could make a bad girl right. Where is she? Out back, up in that gas. But tread careful. She still loves her a good murder. I need a fighter. Oh, and his mother suckers is saying to me, you want to fight me? No, I need a fighter. Someone to partner up for the Gastown races. <laughs> oh, races. The taste of blood on your lips. Your own. Someone else's. It don't matter. You're alive while death is all around. Do you want to join me? Yeah. If you do something for me first, <laughs> square my dad with crow dazzle, and I swear I'll get sober and murder up with you. Tenderloin's dead. Ha! That's her deal? A crafty fume head she is. Crow can lift a wing and wipe the slate clean. But my charity ain't free. State your wish. Low down as such. You race for Crow, here, now. You bring the chills, and the spills, and the people drop bills. I let her debt slide. Fine. Not so fast, Buck. You ain't racing that funky junk here. That rubber ain't fit for my finery. Only speed demons on this track. You tune that car right, then you race my blacktop. The strengths you have inside you will be unveiled one by one. Lo! Here comes a wanderer. I, Crow Dazzle, welcome you to the circle of light. To the circle of the brave, the skilled and the quick. You've come very far, and with a great hunger. But, are you one who seeks to win a name for himself? Or who wishes to bind to the heart of his machine? Or... Are you both? What are you saying? Racing, son, is a many splendid thing. There are some who come to Crow Dazzle for the glory, to beat the baddest the wasteland can muster, and have their names ring out in fireside tales of bravery for ages to come. Others are on the path of the spirit. They seek the death run, to bind their beings to their machines. What's your wish here? Your debt is paid. Yes, a man of your word. Now, uh, give a girl a moment to clear her head. There'll be a few men for a day.
witches. Still have but one keeper. Our beloved champion, Stagdo! champion. Not yet. You'll get well. And when you do... Okay. Uh, I got another for you. Yes. My child. You will help me get her back. As soon as I get you fixed up. Stand up. Who there? You're too strong to break now. 
Abdominus, organic mechanic, my champion, he's wounded. We ain't even as left on my doorstep. Swan, or you'll end up more of a mess than him. I'm skimmed to the chair. Someone you should meet. Who? It's someone from before. <laughs> Didn't mean you, dog eater. There now, Dinky Dee. Huh? We're all friends here. Huh? Friends of him. <laughs> yes, only he doesn't want to know about it, huh? Too afraid of the ghost. I just don't want any friends. A bit late for that. Thing. you lost us. You will do it again, husband. And this time you'll do it right. Do you, crazy-eyed road warrior, take this wasteland concubine to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Now your blood nourishes the weak. <laughs> My blood! May it burn through your veins and scorch your soul! Pay us my payment! Huh? Yeah. Go on, get out! Get out now! Where is she? The woman? A concubine. Uh, out there, the underbelly. You owe her a life! Don't know why she cares for a shit sack like you! Keep walking, blood leech! The end times are upon us. I, Deep Friar, spawn of the great flame, have beheld it. My children, a flock of wildfire, eagerly await their righteous salvation. They expect me to deliver them. I see in you a possible salvation. How so? Gas Town is doomed. The dunes outside all run red with blood. Dread Scrotus and his war boys spread their bloody gospel of the blade. But you, your goal is elsewhere. That makes you a valuable ally. Nobody's ally. Many of my flock have come from the path of the blade and on to the flame. You'll be rewarded in buffed up weapons. What do you need? Since Dread Scrotus's recent bout with death by chainsaw to the nugget, the holy machination we call the Warm Embrace has become non-functional. You mean that big tube mounted outside? It leads into the gas-filled belly of Gastown. Once a sacred moon, it bellows out a pure flame, embracing the wildfire standing in its front. Now the flames have stopped. We cannot go into the tunnels, pitch black and full of flammable gas, making our torches impossible to use. Your false light there. That's the way to go. I never thought I'd be 
return to Gastown. What? I was a black finger here. Yeah, the finest, the most exalted. Oh, I had it all. The parts, the purpose. I worked on the war machines and the assault vehicles. <laughs> and I had a bunk. As much gruel and cheese and grease as I could eat. <laughs> yeah. In the pitch of night, she whispered to me. The sweet angel combustion, she chose to visit this lowly acolyte. Huh? But she gave me a plan. Oh, the sweet angel combustion chose to visit this lowly acolyte. Huh? What happened? She told me that I had to begin my toil. Huh? I had the designs inside the pan. See? Just like she laid them down, the angel. And I began liberating parts for her design. And they, they caught me. They wished to turn me off for good, but Scrotus, brother, uh, he wanted to play with me. Uh, and they threw me off a wall in a bungee. But what was the aid of the angel? Um, I made it out. I didn't die! <laughs> the parts. Hidden, hidden away. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. I think, I think that we can get them for her. Yes, as it was intended by the Shimmy Shammy. You send the magnum opus and the harpoon. Let's do it. You've taken a short rest from your twisted path. I'll help you find what you seek. But first, answer me this. What? The other ones that you don't kill. Who are they to you? I use them, and they me. If there's no gain, what's the use? What's the use? I'm asking you that. But you have no answer. Have you? Yet it's very clear. Scrotus is tearing up the town for you. We gotta get out of here. I won. The prize. Where is it? If you help me. My daughter. You gave me the chance to free her once. She ran, aided no. by the old man. I never helped you. Don't. I see what's behind the crazy in your eyes. I will help you find what you seek. And then you will bring me my child. The big chief. I need it. Now. Through here. In Stankum's garage. You'll have to drive it out of there. I'll find you after. And you will do right by me. Now go! Excited. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yes, yes. It's Scrotus, the immortal. He, he ransacks the Pueblo. Yeah, but he thinks he's going to dismantle you piece by piece. I wed the big chief to the angel in a ram, and then we'll see. Just like everyone else. 
A husk. An empty shell. You're nothing! Hey! Where is the child? She'll know this. Tell her to trust you. Tell her mama hope is waiting. Here. She'll be here. That's where the old one brought her. This desert dweller with his cloak and his staff. But he'll have kept her safe. Tell her. Tell her she is Glory. Her name is Glory. I never asked you your name. Max. My name is Max. It's not a good place. The old man. As she said, the child's keeper. Was its keeper. Huh? This is honorable work. Yes, but to do good, it's best to be alive. No, every second here, we risk everything. We're close to the underdune. She's down there. That's what I'm saying. This is buzzard land. Finally, you see, we gotta burn. Light it up. Buried again in this catacomb. Nothing to do but roam around until, by chance, they spew us out. a child. But why? Why? The buzzards use children to dig around for loot. They're called diglings. Are you dead? I'm fine. Stay with the car. His name is Hope. She's got red hair. She calls you Glory. Mom alive? She is. She's waiting for you. Where's the car? Hey! Ah! Ah! Be still. 
motherfuckers ain't dirty your wagon. Where's the hunchback? Where is he? Where is the car? I don't know. I heard he said he was taken to where I was born. He said he cared about it. He raged about that wagon like it was raging about some fine dame. The ship. You let him go. You let this happen. It's no affair of mine. It is now. I need your fastest machine. It's yours. Take what you need. Your machine is gone. You were betrayed. So what? Stay with us. Make a life. When are you going to have another chance? Our contract is done. Hey. It's a prison. For you. Together we can build more than a life raft. Concubine, not to mention the one who ran a saw blade into Lord Scabrus Scrotus's very brain bag, as if cutting dead stump. Saw your ride, followed it here. We all followed it here, found your monkey, and that monkey was made to sing. <laughs> About you, a woman, a child, a whole little family. You must be the dad. Well, now, daddy's gonna die. What did he tell you? The <laughs> Lord Scrotus was here. He heard that monkey song and he dug it about a little family. A woman, a child, a dog. Lord Scrotus gonna hurt you more than you could ever hurt me. He's there right now, killing him slow. <laughs> In all sorts of tasty ways. I catch the shot. was here. You okay, baby? Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Nobody will remember my name. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. I'll remember. I promise you.
Where's Scrotus? Scrotus? I will tell you where to find him. Your fame walks on its own, and your shadow has grown, and my blood has fueled legend. Scrotus is settled on roadslide of the Purgaty Flatlands. <laughs> Two weak, he said! A spent shell! Bring his corpus credits to the organic mechanic! And let the blood serve! Now my blood returns for you, Scrotus! Now my blood returns! into her lungs still. Yeah. Black fingers will heal her, say. Yeah. Come on! What? Come on. Ah. 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 Praise be! Her juices flow! Her bowels are a go with the cluttering pistons blow by blow! <laughs> yeah. Get off! Just one chance to get it. 